Now, during that break, uh, I know I played the uh, video for you, and I know you saw the producer from CNN come out openly and say that uh, uh, you know everything you know that's pretty much BS. They talked about the Paris Climate Accord and said that uh, oh you know Jeff Sucker, the the CEO of uh, CNN, basically going oh you know hey guys, great job covering that. You know we're so pissed anyway that. Um, you know, Trump pulled out anyway, you know, CNN was all over that and saying, oh my God, the earth's going to burn up and, and, and humanity's done for because a man-made false claim climate change. Then now it's like, okay, whatever. All right, let's go back to the real story. The one that everyone wants to hear, the Russian collusion that doesn't exist. Ta-da. So I find it incredible. Journalism. Okay. Sean Hannity. I, I used to not really care for him too much in the past, but Recently, he's he's gotten very very understanding towards what's happening with uh, you know uh, globalization and things like that. Sean Hannity got it right. Journalism pretty much is dead in this country, almost globally, almost. But at least here in America, it's shot for the most part. And you know, it is absolutely sad when we see things like that. And this is what's funny to me, you know. After this whole story here, I got an article out of the Hill right here <clears throat> with Trump on CNN reaction. What about all the other phony stories they do? Good question, Mr. President. Like the biggest one I think recently, well, before what just happened right here was in England after the uh, uh, London, the second London Bridge attack by the terrorists there. And they staged, if you remember, I think I uh, made a podcast about this also a couple weeks ago. They staged, CNN staged an event where there were a bunch of, you know, peaceful Muslims holding up signs saying that they condemn ISIS and all this. And, 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 and you know, they had, they had people there holding flowers and all this stuff and making it look like a good, great thing. That, look guys, not all Muslims are bad. Which, okay, yeah, not all Muslims are bad. But you just had radical jihadis come and take out several people, uh, sadly, innocent lives in England. That shouldn't have been there in the first place. That, that, that the government openly lets in. That, that their own MI6 knows is there. I mean, it's just, it's hell. And, and their own mayor that even Pierce Morgan attacked knows is coming in. But I digress. Anyway, that's just one of the stories. CNN has a very long history. But ever since Trump has... Really ran into the race, won the RNC, um, 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 C, and became president. They have just intensified and intensified, and don't ever think that they're not going to stop. Don't ever think they're not going to stop, because they won't. They're never going to stop. These people are seriously out to get you. If you study what they're doing, if you study media in the past, what dictators before us, centuries ago, have done with the media. Napoleon was a genius with the media. That's pretty much how he how he became so big and glamorous and stuff, even though he's such a small guy. Napoleon used the media to his own benefacto in his own army. Now we have media as a weapon also, but it's a lot more strict and a lot more scientific, a lot more technocratic in a way. Um, you know, with the past with David Rockefeller when he when he uh, condoned New York Times. For basically helping them spread the agenda that he wants. So it's all big fun and games. You know, Carlos Slim's behind it. Now Jeff Bezos, you know, with a $600 million contract from the CIA. And now he owns Washington Post. I mean, it's just all these people are just out to get you. Washington Post is the absolute crap end of the stick when it comes to fake media. I don't know who's worse, to be honest. I really don't know who's worse. Washington Post or CNN. They're both quite honestly freaking evil. So, uh, you know, I, I and, and no one's against having, you know, uh, opposing ideas. No one's against MSC, MSC, uh, MSNBC saying, you know, what they believe, but reporting on real things. You know, these people that sit behind the desk don't leave the desk. Do you understand? I've left the desk. I've been to events. I've, I've seen 
how bad things can get really quickly. Uh, and probably not even the worst, you know, but I want to go to more. I'm not even done yet. I, I'm just, I'm just starting. And then it's like, you know, then they like, then you get people, the celebrities going out like Johnny Depp this past week going out and saying that, Oh, you know, uh, I wonder when the last time an actor killed the president. John Wilkes Booth. I mean, I mean, and then it's just pretty much like, Oh no, but I'm not an actor. I lie for a living. You're damn right. I mean, what the hell? How can you go up and say that at least the guy, he did apologize. Johnny Depp did end up apologizing. And what's sad is I like his movies. I like Pirates of the Caribbean, all of them. I've seen almost all of them. I haven't seen them all. I like what he does as an actor, but what his politics, I don't like. What he says when people, when celebrities say things like that, I don't like it. Hollywood is full of evil, satanic cesspool criminals anyway. I mean, pedophiles, you name it. It's just, it's just an evil organization. It's horrible. And then they want to spew this crap on people, their low-life, dumbed-down audiences, same people that watch CNN. They want to spew that on them. And basically make it seem like it's okay, just like what Kathy Griffin did. I mean, these celebrities are just, people just don't care anymore. They don't care. Then you have Michael Hastings' wife. You know what? I'll play for this video just because it's so important. And I saw it all last week going viral. And I was just like, what in the... Like, I just, I, I want to I wanna play this video for you guys. It's Michael Hastings' wife basically saying that if you supported Donald Trump or if you, oh God, believed in whatever he said or, you know, backed what he says, then it's like hugging a through a thigh bomber. You know, it's just things like that. Like, and her, and her husband, if you remember who this guy was, he was like one of the last people that interviewed Edward Snowden years ago, like in 2013 or something like that. And he was the one that, had his engine explode, a Mercedes Benz, I believe, had an, had his engine explode, you know, several dozen yards away from him, and they called it an accident. Yeah, what some hell of a freak accident, all right? Your your husband died in an explosive car accident, and then you want to talk about how Donald Trump's a suicide bomber? Give me a break, lady. Let's go ahead and play this clip. I'm going to play this right now for you guys, and so you can watch this for yourself. This, this lady's retarded. James this Comey, better hope there are no tapes. And then the president, uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, hit us with two more tweets. With all the recently reported electronic surveillance intercepts, unmasking, and illegal uh, leaking of information, I have no idea whether there are tapes or recordings of my conversations with James Comey, but I did not make and do not have any such recordings. Earlier in the broadcast, I said bluff. I said the president was bluffing. I, I may have been uh, perhaps too fair. It would seem as if the president may have been lying all along about the existence of these tapes. No, he's just wasting, he wasted the country's collective time speculating over, <laughs> over whether these tapes existed or not. It's a sad day when you cannot depend on the president's word. And you know, my advice would just be to Republicans who do cozy up to him. It's just like hugging a suicide bomber. He blows you up <laughs> in the process with him. It's like hugging us. That's a little strong, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's this is not. I mean, look at what if you go out on a limb, if you're a Republican who went out on a limb and defended Donald Trump over saying, well, he's got tapes that are going to back up his point of view. You just got blown up, too. So, I mean, even the CNN anchor. Or the MSNBC anchor, they even he was like, oh, that's a little bit harsh. Are you sure? Elsie, whatever her name is, Hastings, Elsie, I forgot. She, even he was like, that's a little bit harsh. Yeah, it is harsh. Just, the Democrats are losing their mind. They don't have a leader. Pelosi, they're even thinking about kicking Pelosi out. Which is pretty much the top, like she is the top notch, has been up there forever. And they're thinking about kicking her ass out. And I think Maxine Waters, of all people, should be the one guy. She was over there saying, you know, impeach 45, impeach 45. Like it's, I mean, I mean, and they got stupid followers you know, worshiping that like Jesus Christ came back himself. And I'm not some sick of fan for Trump. I never will be. I'll criticize him when he's wrong. I criticize the Syrian missiles that uh, that uh, he launched, the cruise missiles he launched. I was not for that because they've had a history of saying the Assad government gassed their own people when it really didn't happen. And Cy Hurst, you know, pretty much exposed that for what it was. And he used to work for the New York Times. But, however... The fact that the media lies so much and that you cannot trust these people, they are the mouthpiece for the absolute pure elites. That's what they are. That's all they are. Hold maybe a couple people on Fox, like Tucker Carlson and, and, and Sean Hannity, all right? They're, they're not, they're, they're, I think they're really good people, not out to get the country, not to screw over the people, 
and uh, you know, really giving honest, fair and balanced news. I saw a poll the other day. It says CNN was just like swinging way biased on uh, their coverage for Donald Trump. It was like what? Well over 85 to 90 percent of negative comments on Trump, and then like Fox and was kind of like in between teeter tottering. You know, it was on their fair, fair and balanced slogan. So, you know, the fact that the fact that we have such a huge bias. Can you imagine if CNN was like that towards Obama? No one would watch it. And they even he had even admitted that in the Project Veritas video. No one would watch it. Trump's right. What about the other fake news that CNN's done? What about all the crony corruption they did with colluding with the DNC during the during the primaries? What about all that? We don't see any of that back in the news anymore. It's all gone. So w- when I come back, we'll uh, we'll go over. I got like a lot more news to cover here. We'll go over how crazy the media has gone and the hysteria that's bringing among people, especially with the Steve Cooley story that I missed last week. Last week, I'll be right back. <laughs> 